Welcome to the shop everyone. Today we're going to be installing that aluminum short nose water pump onto that big block 454 that we're building. Now this is a top street performance uh, water pump. It's about a $77 part and you know for the price of it, it does look like a pretty nice little unit. There's some of the hardware we're going to be using to install it onto the engine itself. Uh, sort of uh, now like the bolts I went and got stainless steel bolts and I polished the ends up like I had for the uh, intake manifold so that's what we're going to use to bolt it up with uh, cap off some of the holes that's that hose that goes up to the intake manifold and I'm using double gaskets to help space it out from that cloy's timing cover now for the nipples for that hose I went to three different hardware stores and there's just nothing in stock in brass I also went to an auto parts store and they did have the right part but they wanted like $15 a piece for each of the hose nipples so I decided to buy that galvanized pipe I think I paid about two dollars and seventy nine cents for it and since I have a lathe and I kinda like making things I figure I'd try to machine something out for us so first I'm just gonna scribe off how long I want the nipple uh, now you'll see that in there I have a coupling and since most of the work's gonna have to you know I can't clamp that nipple on the threads so I'm using that coupling it screws into and you saw how out of round it ran on the lathe so first I'm gonna cut them to size about the size that I'm gonna make the nipples using the old bandsaw here all right that's one get that one a little bit straighter and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw those ends into that coupling and I'm gonna chuck it with the pipe in first and true the coupling to that nipple so it'll run true in the lathe when I machine that outside so just deburring it right quick here all right so now I'm gonna chuck it in the lathe with the coupling on the outside so I'm gonna screw it in there chuck it up now I'm gonna machine that coupling true to the pipe itself and the threads because those national pipe threads it's not like a high precision thing they're not you know real true and concentric so I'm gonna machine this coupling straight with the uh, pipe nipple now I'm gonna flip it around and then I'll be able to machine the pipe itself it'll run true Oh uh, yeah, see? And just make a nice skim skim cut just to make sure it's good and round, concentric. Alright, so it measures what I want and let's go ahead and deburr it. So I'm going to deburr the inside and then use a file to break the outside edge. Now I'm going to take some dicum and you know like most nipples it has that lip on the end that kind of does the sealing. I'm actually going to use the end to tighten it up, to use to tighten it up onto the water pump or the intake manifold so I'm gonna put these little machine marks into the nipple itself so when you clamp the rubber hose to it with a clamp it'll actually the rubber will go into these little slots that I'm machining to help retain it all right so let's get the other one made we'll just shoot through it but look out look how this coupling how out of round it is 
and so I machined it square so now the pipe at least the outside surface turns you know concentric and round all right let's put the grooves in it all right there we go we got two of them made now I need a way to be able to tighten that up onto the engine and I don't really want to use vice grips or you know something that would scar up the ceiling surface so I got these collet holders and that collet holder there actually has six sides to it so it has a hex hex type shape like a bolt and so I'll put my collet in there and I'll cinch it in all right so now I'll go over to my milling machine and I'll machine the outside of the nipple into like a nut head bolt head whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna go with like a three-quarter socket size and so I just measured the diameter of the pipe and then you know uh, subtracted whatever you know 0.750 and then I split that and that's what I'm cutting off each side it came up to be about 40,000 so that's about a 40 thousandths cut I'm making on each side of that coupling All right, let's see if it worked. Ah, perfect. All right, so now I have a way to tighten them up. I have a way for it to seal and a way for the hose to clamp to it. Now, I machined off most of the galvanized on the outside, so I want to try to give it some protection anyway. So I'm gonna blue it now. Usually when I blue something, I actually use like olive oil, but I'm down here in the shop. I had a little bit of this O'Reilly oil sitting around, so I'm just going to give it a try. And what I'll end up doing is I usually heat it up till it turns to a, a blue color. Now this doesn't have anything to do with like hardening the part or anything like that. It's just trying to put a protective surface on it that won't rust so quickly and easily. Let's get the other one done. Nice blue color. Drop it in the oil. Alright, see how they turned out. Alright, not too bad looks pretty good all right so let's get them installed see how it works out now on these uh, N NPT uh, threads you want to be careful that you don't tighten it too tight because it's sort of like a wedge fit and you can actually crack stuff that's kind of thin so I don't ever tighten it real you know real hard but I put some Teflon tape on there to try to, you know, help with the sealing of it. Get some of that extra tape off of there. All right, so the nipples are installed for the hose. Now, stainless steel, I like it because I can polish it up, make it look like chrome, but stainless steel is a gaudy material too. And so you always want some kind of a lubricant on the threads. Now, since the holes that hold the water pump on aren't blind holes that go through to the water jacket, I'm going to use some silicon and also use that silicon sort of as a, a thread lubricant so the uh, stainless steel bolts there won't gall onto the engine. Now again I'm using double gaskets to space out the uh, water pump from that Cloy's timing cover just to give me a little extra room there. And also, when I had put it on there, I found out I only had like three thousandths that I could stick through there. So I went ahead and ground that head of that bolt down a little bit to give me more room. All right, let's stick it on there. Ah, it's looking nice on there, ain't it? It really helps set the engine off. Helps with the weight. 
looks nice. All right, see if we can't get that hose on there. Clamp it down with those clamps. All right, so there we go. So the water pump's install, installed on the engine. Looks, I mean, I like the way it looks on there. It looks, looks really nice. It's light, saves a little bit of weight. Uh, so, so the next thing, I ain't sure what the next thing's gonna be on this engine, but we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please give us that like, uh, subscribe if you'd like to, ring the bell, share, do all those things. And again, we appreciate everybody so much for watching. Thanks so much. Hope to see you all on the next video.